Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Analogy Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is ready to take off next week and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of Tuesday night's video, right after the intro. All right, Joe, again, before we begin, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. So let's get started um, right off the bat. The market did not pull off that dead cat bounce that I warned you guys about on this day when we were right over here at around like four, at around 41, four, right over here, just in the circle, all right? It didn't pull that off. It actually dropped as soon as I really, after I released that video, it dropped ferociously. And then it just bounced immediately. A lot of buyers just kept holding the stock, the stock market up over here. And then they kept buying more over here with more volume. This volume right here was enough to convince me that the momentum has shifted and that the likelihood of us collapsing is really, really, really low, right? Even on a daily chart, I think, I think that the worst case scenario for short sellers who were actually anticipating this thing to actually tank, um, it's consolidation. And if that happens, it's gonna go slowly. Worst case scenario, we might dip to like 41.30 or 41.33 before we continue higher towards like 42.50, maybe 42.60 within the next few weeks, all right? That's like the worst case scenario that I see. But as of right now, everything just seems bullish in regards to the overall stock market now the stock that is about to take off next week and why you should keep it on your watches that stock is m a r a mara all right and the reason why i want to talk about mara is because it's been beaten down for quite some time it's been annihilated since the highs of 57 all the way down to 19 18 dollars and 70 cents all right and it looks like it wants to bounce. It does. It's consolidating at the lows, which is a good sign. Um, a few days ago, it actually formed this uh, this morning star right over here. It did kind of pull back, but I'm not bearish on this thing for again for one for two reasons. The first reason I explained it to you is heavily beaten down. The second reason is the crypto market right over here, right? And this right here is BTC. And as y'all know, we had this massive crash, right? massive terrifying crash a lot of people were panicking a lot of panic selling were happening over here in the crypto in the crypto market and uh is this thing over i honestly honestly i think it is over i think this thing is done i think this is the lowest this level right here at around like no not this one yep this one at around thirty thousand. this range right here this is the bottom and I think we bounce within the next few days. And this is not the first time that this happened before. Um, usually, usually what happens when there is a massive crash like that, apparently when uh, when there's a massive crash after like, for example, there's a reverse head and shoulders up here, a head and shoulders actually up here led, that led to this thing. Um, if you go all the way back down here, the last one was in March, right? And this dip, which was very ferocious, had a lot of people panicking. It only lasts for about like four days, maybe five days before we see some type of um, change in the momentum. You can see that double bottom over here, right? First bottom right there, followed by the second bottom. And now if we move on to the presence, which is right over here. All right, let me just erase this thing, delete. All right, then we're gonna zoom in. And if you look closely, Right here's the first bottom. Here's the second bottom. Would we see a third bottom? That's highly unlikely. I think we're just gonna go sideways over here through the weekend, and then on like Sunday, between like Sunday and Monday, like overnight at around like two a.m. Just somewhere over here, just gonna see like a spike, all the way up to like forty-one thousand or forty-two thousand at first. And then throughout the week, we will see a progression towards the $45,000 mark, probably by like Thursday, maybe Friday, before we consolidate somewhere. So this dip right here is definitely, again, if you're indulging in this space, right? 
um, this is something that you want to be taken advantage of because this may not last for too long before we start going sideways, scaring short sellers, and then squeezing them within the next few months. Just keep that in mind, all right? So that is my very honest opinion on, on the BTC market. And that is why you should definitely keep Mara in your watch list for the next few days. Where's this thing gonna go? I think we can easily make our way to $30 next week. Easily, easily, easily. So uh, yeah, and then after that, again, we'll see more consolidation. And then the next price target will be these previous levels of um, resistance right at like 40 bucks. But that's not gonna come soon. It's gonna take like maybe a month, maybe two months. But next week, definitely watch this month for we move up to $30. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. For those of y'all who dropped those in the comments section, um, the first one that we're going to address, that stock is DDD. All right. And somebody had been asking about this. I broke this down a while ago over here after earnings. And um, the stock had been doing well. It pulled back on that day, dropped from $23, and then dipped to that level of resistance, I guess, that became new support. And then it had a pretty nice uptrend throughout the week. It went from like $20 to $27. Is this thing over yet? I don't think it is. Um, I'm not bearish on the overall market, even though, even though we had this little pullback today, like near like the uh, afternoon. I'm not bearish on it. I think we're gonna consolidate and slowly move higher, and I think it can get to like thirty dollars, maybe thirty-one dollars within the next few days. So definitely keep this one on your watches for a potential continuation. It's been beaten down for quite some time. Again, it dropped from fifty-six all the way down to. 17 kind of like what Mara is doing right now all right so uh just again keep that in your watches the next one that we're going to be discussing in this video that stock is rid ride all right and ride um it had a it had a pretty good run from like six dollars all the way up to eleven dollars i was watching this thing for a while i didn't want to chase it and then it had a gap down and then I looked over here and there's earnings coming up right around the corner. Again, for all of you who are looking at this, who are probably trading this, who bought this dip again, um, it is at the lows. Will earnings really affect the price that much? I honestly don't think so. I really don't. I don't think we're going to drop ferociously all the way down to $6 and like $4. I don't think so. Um, earnings is on the 24th and again, it's, after, uh, it's, it's in the aftermarket, not pre-market. So there could be, if they report anything positive, and again, if the market is somewhat positive and the reaction is good, like it could spike, like it really could spike all the way to 11 and then make its way up here to like the $15 mark, all right? Maybe even $16 within, within the next few days after earnings or pretty much at earnings. Earnings might just push it up there. So just keep that in mind. Don't gamble through it. Again, manage your risk if you're gonna do it. I know it's at the lows. And I know it's very, very tempting for a lot of y'all, but again, manage your risk if you're going to do it. So that's for that. Um, the next one that we're going to be addressing in this video, somebody asked, is it time to short INTU? Yeah. Is it time to short in into it? Um, this stock right here, I would not, I would not short this thing. I really, really wouldn't. It's a growth stock. Growth stocks are really, really hard to short. Like they're very, you, you have to wait a really long time, like a very long time. Like I wouldn't short this thing unless it flew all the way up to like 500, like next week, maybe even within two weeks. So um, to the person who was asking about shorting this thing, I don't think you want to. And I looked at the contracts either. They're not that great. Like they're the types of contract where if you get in, like if you buy these contracts will be here, let's say for example, you buy this one, right? As soon as you buy it, the value of your contracts immediately drops by like negative, um, negative one hundred and fifty dollars per contract because again the spread is so big and the volume is just so low, right? So that's something to consider if you're going to like go long or short on the stock. But I don't recommend it to the short side. I know it has earnings right here. Again, don't gamble through earnings. We don't do that here. If you're gonna do it. <laughs> Do it at your own risk and don't put too much money into it. This is a growth stock, regardless of what happened to the earnings. Even if it dips over here, it will be a great buying opportunity for sure. 
It really, really would be. Like, let's say it has earnings and then the the uh, the spread gets a little tighter and the contracts get a little cheaper and it looks better, then yeah, we may take a trade on it. But as of right now, do you want to short this thing? Just just be careful. I wouldn't personally. I definitely, definitely would not. And now the last stock that I want to address in this video is CRSR. Okay. And CRSR is currently going sideways this is not fun this is this is boring sideways consolidation that we don't participate in um, we don't like this the reason why we don't like this is because the only people who are winning are those who are holding iron condors or who are who sold iron condors or just collecting premium as just as this thing is just staying in here right and as it stays here their credit pretty much the contract the value of the contract diminishes and they get to keep the credit on that iron condor right so this is not a place for people who want to go long or go short to participate it's just gonna go sideways the volume is so low it's just it's just not a good stock to trade at the moment eventually there might be something going on like there might be a little spike there might be an increase in volume right to make the stock a little bit more exciting but as of right now i would personally just stay away from it and just watch it from afar and see what it does and that is my very honest opinion on this video and that is the end of the video again do not forget to destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you're interested in being part of a private discord you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below where I share the details of the contracts that I buy, when I buy them, when I exit, and the stop loss and the price targets of all of these stocks in advance before making these videos. All right. Um, if you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Paranology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some step by step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull using my third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Paranology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Enjoy the outro.